Hey guys, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 3. In this episode, I I just found a I found a hidden emblem. How about that? Hidden Mickey! Ahoy! I am literally obsessed with this gameplay mechanic. Nice picture, Sora. Uh, thanks, Goofy, but I, I just took out my phone and pressed the button, but anyways, we need to tell everybody in Twilight Town that yeah, there's some heartless, there's some nobodies. You might wanna you might wanna be careful about all that. Does Twilight Town have any established military force? I don't think so. That's not really a th Actually, no, that is a thing for Radiant Garden. We don't actually know that much about Twilight Town. Like, it, it's never really been established. So, you know what? Just everybody stick together. The Keyblade Wielder will be back if anything important happens, most likely. Yeah, I'm getting- yeah, Am I getting better at sync and flow motion? Nope, I just had to jinx it. <laughs> I really like that mechanic, though. Like, man, I was- not super sold on that on uh, 3D, but dude, it is feeling good in this game. It's just like so easy to do. And I think like a big thing in games is to have things for the players to feel like, dang, I'm getting better. So having that like high ceiling floor to figure out all the mechanics, it's fun for me at least. But uh, yeah, we're back. Now what? Uh, <laughs> Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes! It was you laddies who rescued mm -hmm. my chef! I can't do strange! Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right! But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler! Cool! <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora! You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! wow cake! Hmm? Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh! oh it's you! Scrooge, you opened the bistro and tried on Hi! It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So, I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh! I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients. Especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Yeah, sure I'll help out. Give uh, Remy some ingredients for his little chef bistro. You can transform ingredients you've gathered into delicious meals for temporary stat boosts. <laughs> I'll help you out, Scrooge, but only this once. So I'm a nice guy. I mean, it's not like I have like Heartless or, you know, millions of main characters to rescue and all that stuff, but uh, I don't freaking know where they are, but Twilight Town's only so big, so this probably can't take too long. I just... I guess this is their way of, like, incentivize players to, like, explore their environments and stuff, which isn't bad, yeah. but <laughs> I hope I can find these, like, soonish. Is this... 
That's what we're looking for. Yeah, okay. Caviar. <laughs> Holy crud. We can just sell the caviar for like 500 money. Y'all don't understand how expensive that crap is. It don't even taste good, apparently. Like, I don't know. I take a McChicken over anything. Actually, hmm. I'm not getting it in my fast food tier list yet. I don't know. I just... <laughs> My big thing is rice bowls, yo. Like, man, I love chicken and rice. Like, I'm a simple kind of guy. Also, sandwiches. Find some ingredients so, caviar? Here. Miss me with that. Also, I like fish a lot. The movie's playing now. Huh. Okay. Gosh, there's a lot of food. I don't know where the crud these all are, but I'll try and, like, track them down. Ooh, that's good. Maybe. I don't know, actually. It was good in the last ones. Oh, my goodness. The, the wall run that Sora does is probably my favorite new, like... Thing that he has at his disposal. Well, now I'm just running in circles. What the crap? We already got this one. Yeah. Uh, well, this is an issue. <gasps> Hit him, Mickey! Bro! Okay, I gotta get a good vantage Let's point on see. this. Gotta yes. make sure everything's right. No, lady, get out of my shot! Oh my gosh, she ruined it. She's. We gotta make nice a person, though. Picture, okay, where the crud are these ingredients? Jesus. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Sora is such a jerk. I wonder, can we, can we like just flow? <laughs> I'm, use, I'm using flow motion to intimidate him. Why am I, why am I such a jerk to NPCs? Leave. Little chef still needs our help. I, I know, Sora, but like, bro, I don't know where the crud that kid go. I don't know where the crud these are. I'm trying. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, man. I would have preferred an ingredient, but whatever. I'll take the high potion. We can't go up the roofs, so that makes it easier. Okay, there's another. Now we just need five more. <gasps> Me too, Goofy. I don't know how you... Hunger's not a laughing matter. Gosh. Are we ever going to eat? Oh, oh my gosh. I almost ran past that. God dang it. Okay, so... Hopefully we don't have to imagine for much longer. If I can, like, find it all, I can, you know, eat. That'd be nice. There's, an, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Yes. Okay. Only three more. How hard could that be, right? Next week's pet is gonna destroy you. Uh-uh! What's wrong with you? He got enough stress as it is, hon. Y you gonna... <laughs> You're gonna fail no matter what. Exams are no laughing matter, Missy. I am very disappointed in you. I also got an Orchichalium, I think. I don't know. What the crow was that about? <laughs> I found it! <laughs> now I just need one more! And I'm done! Holy crap! This is hard, y'all. <laughs> what? How? How? How was I supposed to find that? Hey! Guys! Oh. Hayner! Olette! Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. 
That's our job. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy? Kyrie? Brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes. Just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. <laughs> okay, Xemnas. We'll simply destroy him. I beat you in two different games. Come on. I still got Shooting Star. I like it. It looks really cool. I didn't like it at first, but I think this Keyblade is awesome. And now we can use double arrow guns. Yeah, I... When they described this Keyblade, like in the early days of Kingdom Hearts 3 development, I was like, a transforming Keyblade? What the dump? There's there's just so many ideas that came to my mind. I was like, what the? That just sounds ridiculous. And it is, but ridiculously cool. Also, qu cuisine. Lean cuisine. Chef Boyardee. Is that, that, is that the type of meals I can digest in this game? Here's hoping. But I really want to like swap out this Keyblade because it looks cool. That's the only reason. I don't know. I always like star-themed things. Don't know why. But, uh, I guess we're kind of done in Twilight Town. That was kind of short. I don't mind that, though, because I'm ready to get some new worlds. I'm sure you guys are, too. So let's get to it. I wonder which one's going to be next. I'm hoping for one in particular. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told them it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. 
What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? Uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? <sighs> Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? <laughs> Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. 
the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his Heartless, and his Nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep! And Merlin too! Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's almost too much to comment on in each cutscene, but man, just seeing Kyrie again after all these years. I know not everybody likes her, but man, I, I'm really happy right now. Also, Axel, my god, why is he so HD? It's crazy. Also, the beast are unlocked. I don't give a crud, because we're going to a store lamp, baby! Holy crud! And also, uh, Rapunzel's level. I can't. I forget what the kingdom's called. I feel really stupid. But before we do any of that crap, I gotta make my gummy ship, y'all. It's our series tradition, right? And I have exactly one thing in mind for this specific gummy ship. All right, guys. I'm finally back after hours upon hours of working on the perfect gummy ship. It's finally ready for its maiden voyage for the toy. <laughs> Dog 1.0 is ready to sail. So let's get. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't afford any more guns or like anything that was even remotely useful. But I have the dog. So yeah, we're pretty much as ready as we're gonna be. Let's get to it. And <laughs> it, it doesn't even move. <laughs> It's just literally a static dog. This is so stupid, yet so great. Oh my god. Gosh, I think I'm actually slower with this thing on though. That is really funny, but I do not care. Oh my god, I am, I'm on cloud nine right now. I didn't think they could make gummy ships any better. But though they proved me wrong. I'm gonna take like the scenic route cause I don't give a dumb. There's like a, I think you're mainly supposed to take like the warp tubes or whatever but you know i kind of want to explore a little bit let's let's get into some let's get into some you know sinking battles let's see what they have to offer i mean obviously we're gonna crush them in a single blow because the might of dog is well unparalleled but <laughs> i think you're like you know kingdom hearts three i want to experience it all the good the bad and the dog you know so we're mostly experiencing the dog like let's be real <laughs> we get it john you're a dog person no cats are good too if there is a cat Gummy power up, I will attach it to my gummy ship. But I don't want to fight these guys. Should I? And I'll. It's like 40 seconds. We'll just... It'd be kind of funny though if there was a cat power up and it's like, it literally forbids you from using both on the same gummy ship or there's some like conflicting like effect. Like there was. Oh my god. I don't. I may be remembering this incorrectly, like a Mandela effect sort of thing, but. There was this one game called Custom Robo, and I'm pretty sure. If you used the cat power up on like the dog robot, you, you're like robot or whatever, just ch like chain react and explode. I might be stupid, 
But that's what I remember. And I was like, that is so unrealistic. Some cats and dogs can get along. The only reason I bring that up is because I, like, I got that game on a summer. What the fuck is up with? I'm seeing Pink Floyd over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> the ending thing is so funny. But I play a lot of like Custom Robo and King Wars 2 because I got them both on like the same. Or I brought both on like the same summer trip. And it was very nostalgic for me. Yeah, because we went to Disney World that summer trip, and I was very happy. I, that looks important. I'm going to dash into it immediately. So I'm pretty sure that's the checkpoints. I could be wrong, though. Yeah. All right, we're good. Sick. I did pay attention a little bit, but there it is. The first ever Pixar World. Huh? Oh, no. What the? Come on. Yeah, by holding down X. Eat this Astro. <laughs> Such a silly name. But, uh, this guy looks cool. I like, man, these, uh, these Heartless ships are, they took a lot of, uh, inspiration from the actual Disney World. Like, look at him. He's got Zerg's, like, little Gatling gun. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's thinking, <laughs> I guess a crony attack because it sucks. But, so, the battlefield is actually these little warp things. That's nice. These guys have a million HP, though. John, they want to have a million HP if you actually bought more guns instead of dogs. Shut up. I'm not. See, I, I do that voice, but I know not a single person is thinking that. They're like, you know, man, sometimes you got you, you got to take the L. You know, the dog's important to the team composition. You know, you get the racial bonus with <laughs> Goofy in the party <laughs> for every dog equipped. No, uh, that is, that is a very silly. Oh my God, it's working though. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> UFO beam. Oh, wow, it was not very effective. Let me try it again. <laughs> get, get, get over yourself, bro. You suck. This is really, this is really good. But this guy is really easy. Either that or I'm just like, no, you, maybe level nine's high for this. I'm not sure. All I know is, at long last, we finally get to go to the first Pixar world. Toy Story. I guess Toy Box. Whatever, who's counting? And we're going to do that in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, I just, I don't know how long I've been recording for. So I'm going to leave it.